Hello and welcome. Please try this problem on your own. Pause the video. Give it a shot. Okay, let's start by taking a look at this problem together. Let's see what they're asking. They say that Peyton is a sprinter who can run the 40-yard dash in 4.5 seconds. He converts his speed into miles per hour. So that's our goal. We're, we're trying to convert into miles per hour. And he's using this technique right here. So even if you're not familiar with this technique, right, the way we're setting up these ratios, just realize one important thing, that we're, whatever we do, all these calculations should lead to some kind of result in the units miles per hour. So they're asking which ratio is incorrectly written to convert his speed. So that means that there's some mistake here that won't work. Now, if you look at all the ratios, 40 yards for 4.5 seconds, that ratio in of itself is correct. In fact, they all are, right? There are three feet for every yard. There are 5,280 feet for every mile and 60 seconds per minute and 60 minutes per hour. But one of these ratios, even though they're all correct in terms of the units, the order that it's written in will not lead to the answer in miles per hour. Let me show you what I mean. All of these ratios are set up to cancel out units because you can cancel out units just like you do anything else in mathematics. So for example, I'm um, going to show you down here. Let's say we have 2 thirds times 3. In this basic case right here, we can think of it as 6 over 3, right, or 2, or we can think of this as 2 times 3 over 3, right, because we multiply these two numbers. Now when you do this, you can think, oh, well, that's the same thing as 3 times 2 over 3, which is the same thing as 3 over 3 times 2, and 3 over 3 is just 1. What does all this, this tell you? Well, if we went back to the beginning, this canceling out right here that we're doing, you could see right away. If you're multiplying and you see the same numbers in the numerator and denominator, they cancel out to 1. And 1 is irrelevant in multiplication. It's the identity. And the same is true with um, algebra or symbols. So if we have 2 over x times x, right? assuming x is not 0 here, because right, you can't divide by 0, um, these x's would cancel out. And likewise, if I had, let's say, I don't know, for some reason, let's have 2 divided by feet, and I'm multiplying by feet. As weird as it might seem, in this case, the units cancel out, just like the variables and numbers. So in our problem right here, let's just trace what cancels out and what doesn't. Yards and yards cancel out, right? What else cancels out? If I look across here, I see that we have minutes and minutes canceling out, right? And then I have seconds and seconds canceling out. And then here we start to have an issue. Now, hours should not cancel out. Why? Because we want the answer in miles per hour. That means miles should end up in the numerator and hours should end up in the denominator. So here we can see that the issue is in this fraction, right? This, is, this fraction is not written in a way that cancels out the units to lead to the answer that we want to. It's upside down, right? You can tell because here are the miles in the denominator, and you want them in the numerator. And here the feet are in the numerator, but you want them in the denominator to cancel out with these feet over here. So I'm going to cross this out and rewrite it over here. And you'll see how it works. One mile over 5,280 feet. So if we look at this example, right, if we rewrite this fraction to this form over here, now the feet cancel out, right, and the miles don't cancel out, and that's good. We don't want the miles to cancel out. So in the end, if we do all these calculations, we have miles ending up in our numerator, m for miles or mi or whatever, and hours in our denominator, every other unit has canceled out, so this will work. Now if we actually do the calculation, right, you have 60 times 60, times 40 in the numerator over 5,280, right? And then you would reduce that to get um, his speed in, in miles per hour. So which one is incorrectly written? Well, this one right here, right? 5,280 feet over uh, per, for every one minute. Again, the ratio itself is correct, but it's not written in a way that leads to the answer that they want. So when you're given a problem like this, just keep track. What is the answer you want to get? Write those units out. If it's miles per hour, write that down so you can see it as the goal. And then just make sure the units are all canceling out in that way. Thanks.